Okay, go live. Okay. All right. Let me, get it, let me start getting it shared here. We'll let some, <clears throat> let some folks hop in. Man, I'm sick, guys. Like, literally? Yeah, I'm upset. Oh. Yeah. Is that how you're just going to start off, just being like, I'm, I'm upset? Like, <clears throat> I'm sick, yes. I'm upset? Yes, both of those are true. But, because I've had Luden's cough drops... No, wait a minute. Are you sick of, like, hero clicks or literally sick? No, I'm actually sick. Oh, I'm sick. I'm upset. Oh, oh I'm upset you're upset sick. because you're sick. Yeah, there you go. But you think you already had the Rona, so you're probably just regular or sick. Yeah, I tested positive for Rona. Uh, so oh, okay. Like... I, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna throw that out there, but yeah, I don't feel super sick, but I got like a cough and a. But you did, you did just recently or way before? Way before. Okay, that's what I thought. Last year. That's what I thought. All yeah, I heard was, was like... I tested positive, and I was like, wait, yeah, you're yeah, very yeah. lackadaisical about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Well, I mean, Tyler stays at home and eats his Chipotle anyways. That is true. My life did not change. <laughs> yeah, but if he passes out, the Chipotle driver would be the only one to know. <laughs> they don't even, they just leave it at the door. They wouldn't even know until there was two orders at my door. It's when someone would figure it out. Wait, you got it on auto order? No, I don't. <laughs> Same. Uh, I just figured sure. you had, like, I just figured you just, yeah, I figured you just schedule ahead, right? Like, 7.30, I want my chipotle burrito same time every night we have to make mr spee's chipotle order tonight who's got it <laughs> whenever i used to have an actual like go into work job the people at chipotle knew me because i would go there one, like probably two or three times a week at least oh my gosh all right give me a little bit yeah. more time we're up to five people hi people that have joined us i'm gonna give a, a couple more minutes before we break down the discussion Are we for today. on YouTube or just Facebook? We're we're on Facebook, so I'm gonna I got I got it going. I want to share it here. Yeah, um, I didn't get a notification on Facebook. I'm gonna be eating a slice of pizza while we wait. Just that's because you're on the page now. Oh god. Yeah. You're still annoying. Why isn't uh, why wasn't uh, Juggernaut? Busting into a Chipotle on his sculpt, <laughs> that probably like wow. that probably like causes more uh, more uh, licensing things. Oh man, could you imagine if we got fast food? Um, and that, like and that was from Jason. That was from like Jason, that. by the way. Like a Ronald McDonald and a Burger King and a yeah, Carl like the Sanders. like the ha like the Hamburglers, like the collector. He like steals yeah. your equipment. No, yeah, that'd be cool. That's I, I didn't even want to. I didn't even want to get on like an off subject tonight, but <laughs> I'm super. I'm super about some fast food clicks now. <laughs> Wizkid struggling to find a affordable license for a new set has reached out to McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but man, then they could put Hero Clicks and Happy Meals. That's how they reach new players. That's done. That would be pretty done. cool. Oh man, what? There we go. Brand new million dollar idea. Mm -hmm. What about the, like, or like just the Burger King? Like, of course, McDonald's has like a huge cast of characters, so they're the most obvious. But like the the Burger King, like you just get the king. Mm -hmm. Wendy's, you get a you get a Wendy. That'd be sweet. There's that. Yeah, not a, there's not a lot of people that have other like mascots. Like what Arby's is that mitt thing. I think they got rid of that. I think it's just that voice on the commercials now. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jason says now he needs a, a Grimace hero click. Yeah. Oh, sign me up. All right, we got seven people. Let's get let's get rolling. All right, so I only have one slide for tonight because I, I rushed to get back in here. And the <laughs> only slide is, is, so what is considered an activation click? So that is the question. this is all stemming from today's rules update 2.5. Um I'm guessing that whatever happened with the website yesterday, they were planning on posting, I assume, were planning on posting like Article 3, and then that, you know, right. happened. Like they just couldn't get it. The website got up at like 8 p.m. or later that day, and it's like, yeah, it's, it's a little late to be posting an article. 
So that really threw off their whole schedule, schedule. I assume. Um, I'm hoping we get some weekend stuff, but that's well. They said they right. said in the article, "We'll see you Monday." Ah, dang it! Yeah, they they specifically said. Well, now they did say well Monday, but now we have gotten weekend stuff in the past. Sure. So yeah, we're looking forward to hearing additional feedback on the upcoming information starting on again on Monday. And here I'll post it here. Um, so they basically were talking about what we what we heard in the rules article one. Because uh, Rules Article 2 was the design things, and they mentioned that in here. But Rules Article 1 was the pushing damage and the colossal stamina changes, which we've talked about before. Basically, they acknowledged that a lot of people were upset that you couldn't push your characters anymore. Um, so they stated here, given the amount of feedback we're receiving and the fact that utilizing changes in the dial is intrinsic to hero clicks. In the future, whoever wrote this has a pretty decent vocabulary. Um, well, kind of. But... I said decent. I didn't say amazing. What? It can't be intrinsic if they removed it. Then it's not intrinsic. Okay. In the future, <laughs> we'll absolutely ensure that we are designing figures and feature sets. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. I take that back. They said future twice. That explicitly have self-damaging abilities to allow players to pivot through their abilities. So, essentially what they're saying is... We are, they're going to do erratas. Right now they have listed two characters, only two, Armor and Immortal Hulk, that basically says if they are on their starting click and given an action token after resolutions, you may deal them one unavoidable damage. So it's kind of like pushing damage. It's a little better than pushing damage, to be honest. Um, it's a lot better than pushing damage. And they do say under this, and this will kind of open up our first discussion, we may add some more figures to the list above. Please be patient with us as we process this great feedback and continue to roll out our plans for changes to the rules. So it sounds like Armor and Immortal Hulk aren't just the, the only ones. If there are more... Just the most recent, probably. Right, they're the most... They're yeah. the obvious ones. Because mm -hmm. Armor just came they... out. And then Immortal Hulk, it... everybody talked about you know throwing him away. <laughs> we did yeah. yeah we did so so hey that was that was when we you know what immortal hulk everyone was like sell your immortal hulk you know the thing is hold the line boys <laughs> Just... <laughs> buy it buy at the dip if you bought this week buy at the dip now immortal hulk there you, you know go we shot were, up we, we were talking about you know what let's be honest i mean I, if, we, if we're okay to talk about this for a second um you know, Immortal Hulk was, you know, holding the line, right? It was a good stock, good returns, right? Quarterly dividends. <laughs> yeah. Went to the went to the went to the dip. The dip went to the floor. Mm -hmm. You know what? Mortal Hulk can activate himself now after May. Yep. Immortal Hulk to Immortal Hulk to the moon. Let's go. Now uh, Jay Sanson does say, why don't they just make that a blanket rule? I thought about that. That would be kind of cool, just to have everybody have the ability, you know, free deal yourself one damage. Uh, I think that's a that's a probably a bad idea. You think so? Well, yeah. Like Omega that... loves that. I mean, that's great for her. Right. Is it? Yeah, because it's not that. Yeah, she equips turn one she... and then goes to click two, and now she has an adaptation token. So. Yeah, but the adaptation token, she can just heal herself one and get back to top click. Or she can... No, no. no she only heals so, at the so end. Hit. She only heals when she hits the stop click. Oh, does she? Yeah. Right, the idea or... would be... The idea would be take the damage, then attack, mm -hmm. then soul gem or carnage symbiote back up. Yeah, so I, I, my understanding why I think they're, they're doing this is because they don't want to make it a blanket statement because that's just going to be way too hard to des design around. Like you have to think about that ability forever, and at that point, that makes yeah, it almost more complicated than pushing damage because it's not like See, every figure can now push off of their starting click. It's like yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I liked this change um, initially for for a lot of reasons, but one of the reasons was that it opened up design in the future to have it so it. You know, it, it would actually make sense for someone to hurt themselves, whether it's, I don't know, like a character that actively hurts themselves when they use their powers, or, you know, if somebody's like super old and, you know, it makes sense for them to hurt themselves, it, it would have been cool to have that on a power instead of just like a, what it was before. Um, 
it doesn't so i <laughs> i just starting out don't like this change I, I liked everything up until today i didn't like today's announcement um i don't like specific uh erratas to figures where they have to, where they're gonna have to go through all the figures and subjectively decide you know what is a starting click or activation click who should get this um and then even if once they figured all that out it's not just like somewhere you can look it up in the rules oh you know like in the colossal stamina one later you can just look up colossal stamina now means this it's in the rule book this one you're gonna have to check every single figure for erratas which i don't like erratas are not user friendly right but for me we know this is just a temporary thing to cover all the 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 current modern because they don't generally care about golden age all the modern figures that have an activation click that's all this is for because it sounds like going forward they're either going to build this power already into the card or they're going to just not do activation clicks yeah in the future they can definitely do that but um you know armor just came out she's going to be here for three years uh you know so i i just don't like it it's just not it's just not as elegant a change as they have done with the previous stuff or it's just like a blanket around right so so it's one of those things right we had a bunch of this stuff get applied to 2017 core rule change right so i so tyler i i agree with you right having to look at the rules form for a figure is going to inherently be um not new user friendly nor like experienced user friendly right yeah. like i can't i can't imagine how many you, you wouldn't believe how many times i had to explain the errata to uni mind to people yep um so like I, I get what you're saying there right um but you know i think like a uni mind errata is an is an unfortunate part of the game right like those kind of things happen right yeah the, yeah balance the, for sure yeah that balancing you know we we typo the power, right? Everybody talks about quality control and that sort of thing, right? So erratas like that are like maybe like a quality control slash play testing issue. But I think in this case, as a positive, right? Talking about uh, you know Hulk and you know the colossal stamina folks that we we all thought about earlier this week and now today we've got a closure on them. In this case, it's a proactive approach to maintain product that people have already purchased um, with the consideration that it's not going to be around forever. Right. And we had, we, we had general erratas in 2017, you know, like this, like the Colossal Stamina no, one. To, to, um, to, be, to be clear, I'm separating these two. This one is not a general errata. This one is specific. Okay, okay. Sure, you, yeah, so no, no. I get it, right? But so, okay, so I get what you're saying there, right? All right, so I'm not lumping in the two together. Um, I'll make sure to separate that. So, you know, I so in case in the case of armor and Immortal Hulk, right? Maybe the, in this case it is a positive thing, right? They're keeping them playable and functional because it is a very small subset of things that have activation clicks. Um, yeah. So it's one, it's two figures, right? And then. Uh, you know, Alex and I, Alex has gone through the list and we've talked some in the chat today about what other figures we think could be activated and reverse dials and all this kind of stuff. You know, maybe there are some um, casualties of war here. So, yeah. So talking a little bit about the activation clicks. So the two that they gave us was armor which looking at very clearly has a first click activation click like earthbound neutralized nine damn at uh, nine attack 16 defense both bear sure she has support but one damage like that's very clearly an activation click and that's why we we kind of are talking about so what is considered an activation click because we want to be productive we want to be beneficial because they said they're listening to feedback so if we think of characters we think need to get this this trait, um, so, we should be able to come up with those and help whiz kids with those. At least suggest I agree ones. With that. Can I ask you something real quick? Mm -hmm. If they if they don't change this at all, if they just leave it to the, the Monday or Tuesday after or whatever it was, are these pieces unplayable? Armor and Immortal Hulk specifically. Uh, uh we, we well we talked about that earlier in the week. 
Well, no, no, no. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not saying meta unplayable. I'm saying unplayable pieces. Like, is Immortal Hulk just the worst 100 point piece in in the game now? I would say wait he's a an above so, average casual 100 point piece. Yes, I'd say so probably it, close. It, it, yeah. Yeah. So if he if he doesn't get a change, yeah. right, he he falls off the meta radar probably. Yeah, he most likely but, is not meta. But then, unfortunately, he still falls into probably too good for casual. Which well, so puts that, it, which, no, I think he he completely falls off casual because you got to keep in mind influence ring is a con le. Not everybody has influence rings, and not everybody. Well, I'm talking about the the other things where you like pulse wave your own people or mm-hmm. energy explosion or mastermind well, things like that. Matt. Um. So I'm just saying, like, you could have met Immortal Hulk and armor. Sorry. Why can't you? He can't him? be chosen for mastermind. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> um, okay. I, I just I don't think that they become unplayable or even like they're not the worst characters. They're, I can name characters that are worse than these two after this change. Um, so I I think that there are just some pieces that are going to get nerfed during this rules change, and I just think that it would have been better. I think it does more harm than good to make this errata. I think it would have been better if just nothing changed, I feel like. They so just here's... So I went in here and looked, right? So what is considered an activation click, right? Mm-hmm. And what what I see here, I'm a data guy. I see, uh, I see Earthbound neutralized on first click. Mm-hmm. And Immortal Hulk and Armor are the only two pieces in Modern with Earthbound neutralized on their first click. Yeah, the way the way I did a search and I'm doing it on screen now is I actually went based off of defense and said, okay, activation clicks typically have low stats. If they had high stats, I don't necessarily count that as an activation click. Maybe even if it's a bare power, but if they're sitting there rocking a twelve for four or something, that's that's not really activation to me. I, I mean, it may be in some sense, but you could still do something with that. But if you're rocking at like a 16 or less defense, and that's what I started with because 16 is kind of, you know, most of the WWE has 16. So I didn't, I kind of did that as my first filter, and then I ultimately went down to 15 because I believe Hulk has a 15, and I think Armor also does. I'd have to double check. Hulk has a 15 and Armor has a 16. Okay, so I did 16 and then obviously first click only. And there's not, if you get rid of all the WWE, because we know those aren't that big of a deal. Um, oh, I did damage. No wonder I'm getting everybody. I'm sitting there like, why is everybody popping up in here? Mm-hmm. There we go. So like 135. Um, so I know a lot of the Star Trek ones aren't, you know, activation clicks. Say you've got Beverly Crusher, Ensign Crusher. I still looked at them, but I knew, okay, those are they're, those are going to be lower. Galactus, uh, I, his is just messed up because they got the elemental converter. So, um, but starting to go through, uh, one of the ones that we have been talking about uh, privately was Black King because he is a reverse dial, um, and I think that's a decent debate. Do reverse dials? deserve the ability to push now black king might be a bad example because he his looks very much to be the opposite his looks like to be like not you can't push him like you could but he's built to counteract that in a way uh i i don't know black king enough to agree or disagree uh, his his um, he has a trait at the beginning of your turn if black king wasn't hit by an opposing character since your last turn heal him a click so he's he's got kind of like a built-in mechanic to counteract first turn. Hey, I'm just going to, or second turn, I'm going to keep pushing oh. him. Well, if you don't get him out there to get hit, he's just going to heal right back up. So, but there are other dials. Like there's, uh, I don't know if Bizarro's like that anymore. What about um, Sebastian Shaw is the chase one, right? Not the uh, Shaw, that is, that is Black King. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not. Yeah, but he starts with actually okay stats this time. He actually has a 10 for 3 with perplex sidestep, and his stats do go up, but that's the thing, and you mentioned this before, Tyler, is we get into kind of a subjective review of these yeah. clicks, and I, I guess what we're doing now is saying, okay, let's put the click stuff view onto this. What do we feel 
is um, appropriate to get this new power, this new, hey, if you're on top click, take a damage. Because do we think, should we just start with Skeets? Because that was the biggest one that I was actually kind of on board a bit, even though you'd have to change how the power is written. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, because I'm starting. Right, so can I, I'll just give my opinion uh, first. Go ahead. Um, I think that it should just be very limited to Hulk and armor, and as long as design can keep their... Um, I don't know what I want to call it, but as long as they can keep their business straight, <laughs> right, going forward, mm -hmm. armor and Mortal Hulk is probably it. Mm -hmm. The, and again, I'm there's I'm okay, unfortunately, with there being a few casualties with this, right? Things that become unplayable, quote unquote, air quotes there. Uh, -huh. uh and, and probably Skeets is okay, right? He's on his way out the door. He shouldn't you have know, been let's... in this door, but he got lucky. <laughs> sure. Um, yeah, just to me, well, Avi, I've already told my opinion, I don't think anything should have changed, but. It just doesn't make sense to me, like, because there are, we talked about this ourselves, there are there are figures that were designed to be pushed, and those figures are going to be nerfed now that <laughs> you can't push anymore. And, and we're okay with that. I just don't understand why we're not okay with these two figures getting nerfed as well. See, I don't know if, well, I don't know if they're, if they actually made a lot of figures that they focus on, they should take pushing damage. There's not a there's not a ton. I would. I, would I don't think that outside of Immortal Hulk and armor, I don't think there's any more. Skeets, you can argue, I, I but yeah. So I like we talked about Ultra Chase Thanos today mm -hmm. because and... everybody pushes him. Right. Well, th that's that's how. No, 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 no. Let's be clear. That's a very oh. broad statement. It is okay. Everybody that plays him in meta tends to push him that away. Okay, I, I think but everybody who plays him correctly pushes him. I think that I can say that with confidence. But that's not because okay, that's I would, I would, But that's not because his right. first click is bad. That's because his second click click is just better. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not claiming his second his first click. I'm I'm claiming that as designed, this figure works best when he's pushed, and um, and he got nerfed because of it. Um, same thing with there was somebody else I was thinking. Of. Isaac. Isaac gets that special um. First, you might want to get into a stop click, and he also gets that special um, outwit on his second click. Yeah, true. So, like, people push Isaac all the time intentionally, like, and then they put the power on his second click right before a stop click. So it seems like they designed him to be pushed because it also couldn't be used until your second turn, um, and he, you know, he gets nerfed. So I, I, and there's obviously other figures. There, there are figures that people that people push for for whatever powers on their second click. Um, I was looking earlier. I think um, Prime Black Panther, Prime Black Whoa. Panther gets that weird, weird, weird mind control um, on his second click um, that people like for whatever reason. Um, you can't do that now. So it, it, there, there are figures that got nerfed because you can't push them, and I don't know why we're okay with that, and we're not okay with these two figures getting nerfed. Doesn't okay. So, so, he, so I, I, I can agree with. I can understand why that wouldn't make sense to you. Right, as far as as far as like Jay's suggestion there of why don't they just make it a blanket power? Mm -hmm. So I would say it's it's the obviousness of it, right? Yeah, it's a and much more, easier fix to do this. I agree with that. That's right. Yeah. So I maybe just my subjective like you make great points and great arguments. That's why I was like, hey, join tonight, right? Get your get your ass on the call, and. <laughs> Um, but for me personally, it's like, okay, well, now you have to change how you play those figures and that may or may not make them more or less playable. Um, but there's casualties, right? Of the design change. I think I'm okay with a vast majority of these with the exception of the two activation click guys. Yeah. I, I think all of the people we're talking about, and uh, Maya Woes brings up Franklin Von Doom as another example, um, and David Creighton br brings up no pushing means no suicide bombing the JLU Jokers. 
true. The ones that blow up. Right, but I, I don't. They weren't never intended to be blown up on their own. I just, I, I'm just thinking from intention, which is always a bad thing to think about with this game because that <laughs> always is what starts arguments. Is yeah. what was intended, and so yeah. I look at figures in this instance to say, are they decent? Like, can they still do stuff? On click one, but, like okay, Skeets does a lot on click yeah, one. Yeah, Skeets is amazing. Yeah, he's sure. great. Franklin Von Doom does a ton on click one. Thanos does a ton on click one. Sure, they might do a lot more later down dial, but that's when you that's when you know things hit the fan, and now they're gonna have to step up and be the main piece because obviously your opponent probably avoided them and went for everybody else. A uh, Black Panther, for example, still has decent powers. Sure, he doesn't have the cool mind control, but he still has charge. He could get in there and still pop out the warlords. Like, none of these figures we've talked about outside of Hulk and armor are just pointless. Like, Hulk, put him on your force. If you can't, if he doesn't ever take damage, he is literally a 100-point out wit piece. Like, if he just never takes damage all these other pieces can just they still do a lot the jokers still do a lot if they just ignore them you can run up there and you could keep uh yeah, poison, poison yeah they, yeah poison they can still the placicity they still do two damage 10 for two like and they can shape change so i mean they're still good um and Jay brings up Jay Sands and brings up a point. It'll now be easier for your opponent to control what click you are on. They can see your card and you can't push, which is a good point. They uh -huh. you do have more control over what's going to happen. I don't think it's a bad change. I don't. I'm kind of with Dan. I don't think there's any other people to add. <laughs> I thought there was going to be a lot more people, but I guess I didn't really under. I really didn't notice. That they got rid of so many people with activation clicks, because there were yeah, it seems, more. But yeah, it seems like this has been a design choice for a while, I guess. Well, I say that, but then they, they made armor, you know. But but um, but yeah, there's definitely less than there used to be. Right. I think a lot of this also comes from. So there's kind of been a tension, I think, between the Hero Clicks players and Wiz Kids as of the past three months when it comes to just erratas in general like we got the watch list or we heard about the watch list and then like two months later we finally got the results for it we've been waiting anxiously for a psylocke errata uh there have been people talking about the team up cards needing an errata like we're waiting for whiz kids to like step in and fix their game and then they come out and say, hey, Colossal Stamina is gone. We're going to, you know, change pushing damage. And we're like, okay, well, that means more erratas. And we're just not getting any erratas. Like, that's really frustrating. And they came back today and finally said, hey, we're going to do an errata for these, uh, for these. So hopefully this is kind of a, I don't know, maybe they're finally going to start <laughs> actively errating things. I, I know that's not the point, but I mean... It's possible they were waiting for the rules change to make any errata. That's that's something that could happen. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense to wait for the rules change for Psylocke unless they're like literally oh, changing I, how I after resolutions. I have, no, I have something to say later on about that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get further down, and I have a, a hot take. All right. So, is there anything else to add about them adding a trait? That allows you to, if they're on their starting click, this is a buff, for those that don't know, this is a buff to Immortal Hulk. So now he's actually yeah. better than what he was. because he can Yeah, Immortal Hulk is, is better, for sure. Because he can equip turn one, and when he equips the Dock Arms, he can immediately take a damage. And then you have to rethink about attacking, because he now could just run out there and charge and actually do something. Yep. So. He used to either, you know, you would obviously have the influence ring, um, but he used to have to otherwise double token himself, and then he can't act the next turn, obviously. You'd have to clear. He might be able to free charge, but it, it's definitely a buff to Hulk. You don't even need the influence ring now. Yeah, if anything, it makes him 100 points instead of 105. Yeah. So it's a five-point discount. Yeah, this is great. I mean, I'm well, excited. Uh, 100, uh, 110 instead of 115, right? Yeah, for the Akon. Yeah, because he's equipping Yeah, him. equipping him, yeah. Right. Uh, one last question before we move on to um, Colossal Stamina. My Rose, uh, Woes, sorry. A blanket rule bringing back an optional push would have been better than more erratas. So do you think they should have just done a blanket rule allowing everybody to push? 
allowing everybody the ability to push optional. The only problem I have is that they're looking to actively remove the like the term pushing damage. So they yeah. would have to do a blanket thing to be very specific, and I think that's really hard to do. Where like it's optional to take one damage if you give yourself a second token. Like I don't know. I feel like yeah. that get wordy to try to make it blanket for everybody. Um, that's definitely better than the just blanket free deal one damage to everybody. Um, yeah, I, yeah. It might it might just be too complicated to do that when they're trying to simplify. Um, would probably would be my concern there. Yeah, I I, I kind of agree with that. I I'm okay with them eroding. I mean, I know we want to stay away from erratas, but now oh here's an idea. How would you feel if they did these erratas and then they gave people the option? to receive a card update i it's still like it, it would be better but it would be trying to patch a problem that they're causing by doing this now do you think they should issue card fixes i've only done that one time that i'm aware of that with the van the, the turtle van mistake. no t twice uh, no proteus and the turtle van Proteus did. Yeah, I, I didn't. Want, I didn't even know that. Yeah, I didn't even think about the turtle van. But this would uh, be. I, I would think this would be like. What if they did it completely optional? So if you got a card, you saw they had errata. They had a link on their website or something. Hey, if you want us to send you one of these cards, or we could send a bunch to your store for free because that's what they did for. And uh, Maya mentions that they did it for Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, they could send it, and just it, send it to the store, send it in the package with Alliance, here's some cards. That's what they did with Proteus, so. Well, so, in a perfect world, obviously, that would that would be ideal, but it's it's placing a lot on WizKids that I I don't think they're going to do. It's, it's a lot of trouble for just two figures around us. But should they? That's the question. I don't think you so. I, would, I wouldn't put that Because for Proteus, I, the Pro I think, real quick, I, the whole reason they did Proteus is because they left off his damage power. That was the re That's the only reason they didn't rot or anything. They just left off his damage power on the card. So go ahead, Dan. So I think you know I. This is corporate Daniel speaking. <laughs> um, I think the best compromise is there are casualties. You errata two things to make them playable, and you move forward. Okay. Right. Like so. There's, you know, there's always the option of just not doing anything. That's okay too. Um, but I, I, I do like Maya's suggestion of just everybody can push, right? You don't have to put like everybody has willpower, but you can all opt to not use it, quote unquote, old willpower. Um, so I, nothing's perfect, right? No matter which one of those solutions we just mentioned somebody's going to be unhappy, right? Tyler, in, in your suggestion where they just don't do anything, there are droves of people, too, that are upset about Immortal Hulk. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's true. And they armor, would be, too. They would be entirely... Uh, oh, yeah, sure, armor. There would be, you know, <laughs> and if they didn't do anything about this next one on Colossal Stamina, right, there are a lot of people that have been upset about spending money on Immortal Hulks and God Dooms and Punisher War Machines and Wendigos and, you know... A, you can't. Uh, Wendigo. Well, Wendigo gets to keep its colossal stamina. Well, yeah, but no, I don't care no, it doesn't keep. I don't think it keeps this one. Well, he might. I, I, don't, I don't think the so. Colossal stamina keyword. Well, let's just go on, right? Because they let's just move on. Because they specifically gave the errata will be on the HeroClix rules forum in the future, so fans don't need to track down this article. Oh yeah, but there's another character example. with. It just says characters with colossal stamina have the same gameplay as colossal stamina from 2017 core rules and pack. <laughs> so does so does Wendigo just get the best of both worlds? He gets the yes. new great size and he gets colossal yes. stamina. So does he have? Does I, he have? Tra I'm sorry. Does he have traded colossal stamina? Yeah. He has okay. That that stamina. answers my no. question. Yeah. Is it? I don't know if it's traded or it's part of. It's a. It, it, it is a trade. Happen. Colossal stamina. So yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and then uh, two by two jugs. Yep, who gets the double dip in as well? That's yeah. huh. Yeah. So, so guess what? I mean, like maybe hey, they'll do it only yeah. standard size characters. Uh, you know what they could, right? But um, you know what? What's simple? 
right? There's two ways to look at this one. They just say goodbye, colossal stamina. Screw you, HOX jugs, Tyler, Tyler, not right. Stock and stocks dip on that fella. This guy, this guy right here, I finally got one today. Um, yeah, you know. nice. Or, or they say, right hey, here. or they say, hey, colossal stamina is going to go away. We recognize we've made a lot of cool characters with this that are currently in modern. General Errata, Colossal Stamina exist as of this. Jugs get two by two jugs gets a big boost. Wendigo gets a ginormous boost. Um and then all of these other cool ones that we've talked about get to do their same thing until they retire. It might be two years from now, but there was a lot of things that were kinda like got that general errata from the old the old cards and the old rules and they're gone now. Yeah. And we don't we don't even think about them anymore because they're they're gone away. I miss Lex and Joker Duo. Duo Attack was fun. <laughs> I do too. That piece was awesome. I love Duo I Attack. Yeah, piece. it gave it didn't it give Mastermind yeah, or it did something crazy or it gave everybody sidestep. Yeah. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, I think. Well, no, the Lex Joker Duo and the World's Finest both had Duo Attack Mastermind, mm. um, and they were out for. Uh, almost a year of the 2017 rules so it came out in august and they retired that next mm, june so or maybe it was in june the first of june that year yeah um okay because yeah it was in the first of june because we weren't playing with uh world's finest at that nationals but so if they would have said we're getting rid of duo attack it was the same idea right the duo attack wasn't in the 2017 core rules and pack. It, it was under the past rules thing, right? right. But uh, uh, I, but it's it still it still functioned as before. But I don't know if they explicitly said everything did as before. Like the problem is the problem I remember from that time was I, they may have said, "Hey, these powers work as before," but then they never came out and referenced those powers. Like, hey, we change. Like, for example, equipment was my biggest question because I loved Lex and Joker duo. But they made it where you had to be a standard character and you were only considered a standard character if you had um, certain things. Like, there was something that is either sharpshooter or duo attack that made it to where you couldn't do something, either equip or something explicitly. Like, they weren't considered, and I forget exactly what it was. But uh, it was duo attack. I mean, duo attack made you non standard. Um, but um, a sharpshooter they allowed to be a standard character. Yeah, so I think with this, I mean, first off, let's say, do you like this change for Colossal Stamina for the people that have it in a trait or special power? Keep that in mind. This does not affect all the other people that get Colossal Stamina from great size. They will not keep Colossal Stamina. They will just have the new great size. Because they explicitly said all characters have Colossal Stamina printed as part of a trait or special power. So Proteus, Dark Phoenix, all the people we were talking about before, they get the new great size that allows them to roll, have like a pseudo leadership. They don't get to go back and also have Colossal Stamina. We're only talking about Punisher War Machine, God Emperor, Doom, Juggernaut, uh, and then I guess apparently also Wendigo and 2 by 2 Juggernaut. <laughs> And, and whoever everybody else. that was in the uh, everybody that was on my uh, clickstock TikTok earlier this week, I think I think I, I think I got everyone with that one. Maybe I may have missed somebody, but nice plug. I got all the big I got all the big ones. Yeah, and I, unfortunately, it doesn't help. Um, Ultron Ultron's still hosed uh, yeah. because he got colossal statement for Masters of Evil, and that's not changing. Um, yeah, I also think the reason why they made this change is because maybe they forgot about these pieces that had Colossal Stamina and didn't want to have to deal with the backlash that may be that these pieces got a lot better, potentially. Because, uh, sure, you don't have to push, but maybe God Emperor Doom being able to roll out, like, higher point yeah, God what? Emperor Doom being able to roll himself out with the leadership or with the, the new... Uh, willpower well so i guess colossal stamina didn't change it's i was thinking of the power cosmic so forget that yeah. um yeah he already has power cosmic right. why are they okay with buffing all of the colossal pieces then like and wait giant. so so wait so to ask to ask to answer alex's question 
I am personally a fan of it. Yep. I I like playing Prime Bats, Prime Punisher, War Machine, God Doom, and Tyler Knot. So, like, God Doom with Power Cosmic and Colossal Stamina, mm, sign me up. Sure. Uh, I... <laughs> like, when I, I have, I have, uh, I only currently have 19 Wendigos. <laughs> but, so. You're okay uh, with that one? I'm okay with that one. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, I think, I think it, it, it the new rules made some pieces better in 2017 as well. Yeah. Uh, like uh, Sam Cap, right? Mm-hmm. That was a big one, right? Sam Cap got a huge buff from the new rules. All ID games <laughs> got a huge buff yep. from the new rules. Yep. That's right, right? So Weird. I, I think this is, if you look at that and then how a lot of people were pretty much okay with that, right? At least the vocal part of the community, right? Um, I think in this case, right, again, it's a small subset of pieces that will eventually go away. They still get to maintain their playability throughout the remainder of their time in Modern. Thumbs up for me. Tyler? Um, I don't like it. I, <laughs> it's better than nothing, So, but they, they had to do something. They just had to um, because it, it's such an easy change because you can just target – any colossal, a key phrase colossal stamina, you could make a blanket around it. I, it, so it doesn't make any sense to me why they, they kept it as the colossal stamina and instead of just changing it to what great size became. It, it makes no sense to me when they are so adamantly trying to get rid of pushing damage, why they don't just make the change for, for the smaller characters as well. And, and instead, just now we have two different ways that you can continue to act and one of them has pushing damage which you're you're very actively trying to avoid it doesn't make sense to me it would have been so much simpler just to change it to the role of three through six if they wanted to even do it if they thought that was too powerful maybe change it to four through six um something like that it it just makes no sense to me at all this change i don't like it i think it's just i think it's just based off of how they built the figures to begin with. They never built God Emperor Dune to be able to have a roll-off. They didn't do it for Punisher War Machine. When they added Colossal Stamina when they made these characters, it was always a, hey, you're going to trade one click alive to be able to continue going. And- yeah, but any argument you make for that, I can make the same argument for Dark Phoenix. About what? Right, so... so about the so same about thing. This? Dark Phoenix was designed... To, to be able to stand colossal stamina that like she has a heal built in that, like yeah it, you're so, supposed to be able to heal for right but they push I got, okay i got you i got you yeah, yeah okay so so i i get that tyler so how about this right mm-hmm. um dark phoenix got is her card is unchanged mm-hmm. right there is nothing that in the new rule i mean as far as we know right now there is nothing in the new rules that would require you to go to the rules forum for Dark Phoenix. Yeah, true. Okay, so we're talking about maybe seven figures in this situation, right? Mm-hmm. And instead of eradicating them with the three through six self leadership, mm-hmm. okay, you can simply say, "Here's my 2017 pack. Mm-hmm. These characters." have this ability that's in the quote-unquote past rules okay so no that doesn't work because we are getting a new rule book (laughs) that that new rule book can say colossal stamina roll a dice three through six remove a token but they're getting rid of colossal stamina they do not they're 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 getting rid of the they're they're getting rid of the keyword yeah they colossal stamina will still have to be in the pack it will still have to be there because it's a key. It'll be They're it'll be colossal. in the back of the pack that shows past rules, like they did it in the sure. twenty seventeen. Col- colossal stamina has to be in the pack. It has to. But it so, won't have an ex it won't no. It won't have an explanation of what it is. You're, now when, when you say pack, do you mean the rule book or the powers and abilities card? Whichever they have. I don't know what is coming with the Wonder Woman. Well it's both. They're redoing the rule book and obviously they'll update the powers and abilities. They okay. never, they so, never had sharpshooter on the pack in 2017. That's right. They had it on the back right. of the rule book. 
that said, hey, here's all the past powers we used to have. There, right. This is what they were called. And then didn't say okay. anything about it. That was it. So our so our our goal is to simplify the rules here, right? So my argument is that it is much simpler to have in the pack Colossal Stamina, roll a d6, 3 through 6 remove a token, than it is to say Colossal Stamina, pass rules, and then you have to pull up a pass rule book and find it Colossal Stamina in there and then read it, even though in that rule book it says that Colossal Stamina applies to Colossals. It's in the pack under Colossals. But, so, like, so wait a minute. So so hold on. Let me ask this then. So you're you're very passionate about this part of it, right? <laughs> I so I went and looked it up in the two rule books that I have. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It is not past the the past rules are not even in the regular core rule book. Be in the comprehensive. They are in the they are in the back of the comprehensive rule book. So I'm not. So, that doesn't matter though, because I'm saying that colossal stamina is a key phrase on figures. It is going to be in the rule book, okay? Whether it's either one, whether it's in the comprehensive or the. So all I'm saying is that when it was in the 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 other one, the the comprehensive rule book, just it's much simpler and so much more in line with everything they're doing to say colossal stamina three through six remove an action token, than to say colossal stamina reference the old pack under the colossal fist symbol to figure out what colossal stamina does it's it's no, so, so much the the sorry. the so sorry so we had transporter mm -hmm. we had duo attack i'm just looking through here sharpshooter all of these things came back in 2017 that required you to look at a past pack and right. now they're no longer in the game Right. So the I think the problem here stems that they don't produce new rule books enough to be able to say, okay, we're gonna keep colossal stamina on until we no longer have colossal stamina figures in the game. And once we do, sure, well, new rule book, take it out of the rule book, and, and it's gone. I don't think they just they just don't do that enough. They just rely on one rule book for four years. Or, I don't understand what's your guys' issue with this. It's what what is the issue? What what is the negative to saying colossal stamina three through six remove a token? What's the negative? They want to get rid. So, they want to get rid of colossal stamina, and so the, the, the precedent. The negative is the precedent. They don't want to get rid of colossal stamina because it's always going to be there. I'm just saying, add something after it. Wait, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. They want to. They. I think the issue here is they i agree that they do not want it i'm looking at the power and abilities card right now mm -hmm. it has a key phrase for colossal stamina right that's going to be gone i agree with that okay so my only my only ask is that under the comprehensive rule book where it says colossal stamina it's going to be there always there's no getting around that it's going to be there my only ask is that after that it says three through six remove an action token well, you're no, you're no, also okay, talking right. about changing so, colossal stamina, though. But so let's yeah, let's. So you're ta you're talking about yeah, you're talking about. But they're already doing stamina. that. They're not. There is no hey. colossal stamina, Tyler. It's gone. Okay. Like okay. new rules, but, it is gone. It is just gone. There. <laughs> okay. There there is a colossal stamina. They changed what colossal stamina used to be to a new thing. That's what they did design wise. They they did. It doesn't make any sense. So again, I'm asking. What is the negative to adding that phrase after colossal stamina in the comprehensive rulebook? I have yet to hear a negative. Because they don't want new people to worry about colossal stamina. Sure, old cards will have that on there. Sure, so for three years it, from no, now. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. It's always going to be there. Colossal stamina will always be in this rulebook. So, you, so, saying, what, so what you're asking for is a. You're asking for an errata to the wording no, of the not, key not phrase. Asking for an, not asking for an errata at all. The literal only thing I'm asking is, in the new rulebook, where it is going to say Colossal Stamina, because it is going to say Colossal Stamina, they, they say that right here, it'll be in the past rulebook thing, right? It's already going to be there. All I wanted to say is, 3 through 6, remove an action token. That doesn't, but that doesn't, there's nothing in there now that explains what duo attack is or move an attack or split or merge or any of these other things. Also, Ty sure. Tyler, you keep, you keep arguing two things. You, so the colossal stamina they're talking about is the old colossal stamina. Like the current, as of right now, today's colossal stamina will be in the rule book as a past rule. 
Right. They are not changing cost of stamina to the roll three through six. I'm 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 or I'm advocating that they do that. But they don't want to. They're adding that to great size. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> they, I, like the, they already did. Again, I, I have not heard any negative. Someone please give me a negative and I'll drop it. But I, all right, I you want the negative? It. Is because yes. WizKids explicitly said they're not doing it. <laughs> Like, they explicitly said they're getting rid of Colossal Stamina. They're only going to put it in the rulebook for past things. That Like, that's that's my point. Right? Like, they want to get rid of it. Like, that's their intention. They can't. They, <laughs> they, they, they can't get rid of it. They it's had the before. Game. There's a precedent for this. No, 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 no. They, they can't get rid of it. It's always in the game, right? So, I'm saying it's, it's going to be in the rulebook. When it's in the rulebook, make the change three through six. There is no negative there. In the next rulebook, when Colossal Stamina key phrase is phrased out, it obviously won't be in that rulebook and will just be a Golden Age power. Right, I feel like you're arguing two I'm things arguing here, <laughs> but not. that's fine. I'm uh, arguing I'm, exactly I'm, one I'm thing. I want I'm one calling, phrase I'm after calling it. Colossal Stamina. I'm calling it. I'm calling yeah, it. I I, we're not going to uh, Alex, Alex and I are in agreement. And Tyler's just Tyler, fine. We, I'm just we kidding. Still have, not given, still have not given me any negatives for it at all. I'm sorry, then. We're just going to leave it at that. But, <laughs> yeah. uh, we're getting comments in that are like uh, with some uh, suggestions, but it's like at the, Jay says, you're asking for colossal stamina to be changed to great size so those figures can get the benefit but can still be equipped, right? So you're, you're just you're well, asking yeah. for – you're, so colossal. You're, you're, so let me ask you this. I I I, I can't help myself. Uh huh. Sorry. Right, so do you agree that colossal stamina, as a key phrase, is going away? It it'll still what? be in the pack. It won't be used in the future. It it won't be in the pack. Yes, it will. It'll be rule under book. the. It'll be in the rules. rule book. Yeah. It'll be in the comprehensive rule book under pass. Pack rules. pack is yeah. the card with the powers on it. I just say pack for. I know. But you're right. Okay, so this is this is very key, right? Sure, I'm not right. arguing so, anything different. So, so, all right. So, the only way that you had access to the key phrase of colossal stamina mm -hmm. in today's rules mm -hmm. was if you were granted the key phrase, mm -hmm. or you had access to the fist symbol. Right. Right. So they are saying the fist symbol no longer grants the key phrase colossal stamina it grants you three through six self-leadership right among other things yeah now right the but no, no, everything else is staying the same the the giant reach is staying the same uh, right they're the, just changing the, what colossal stamina meant that, they're getting rid of the key phrase and adding something else. now one uh, real quick reminder this will not be in the Wonder Woman starter set. Like, that key phrase, it won't be in there. Because they're saying it's going in the comprehensive rulebook. Well, oh, wait. The, they normally it's the comprehensive. Wait, which one's the the judge one? The comprehensive. Yeah, so the comprehensive is the judge one. We don't get those. We have to, like... Those are only online, or you print them yourself or something. Those aren't in the starter pack. Okay, either uh, way. It has to be there. Like... Right, but it's not in like a you know little Jimmy goes and picks up his rule book. It's not right, going to have colossal stamina in it. But that doesn't matter because the colossal stamina key phrase is still in the game, and we're going to have to. If you if someone a new a new player sees that key phrase on a figure, they're going to have to look up what it means. My way is much simpler to just put it in the 2020 rule book, and this is what it means. And they're like, oh, that makes perfect sense. This is just like what great size figures can do, except something else. It your way, they have to go back to the 2018 pack, look at it under the colossal figure symbol, which I don't know how they'll even find that, and then it's something no, 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 completely no. different that references pushing damage, which isn't even in the game anymore. Nope, you are, you are Tyler, I'm sorry, you are wrong on both <laughs> accounts. Okay, go ahead. Because it, it, I think you're showing that you don't read the pack that often. <laughs> Alright, so I don't. they have to go reference the 2018 pack be specific okay. here. They have to uh -huh. reference the eight, 2018. They have to reference the 2018 pack. Uh -huh. They don't go look under the fist symbol, under the they key phrase of it's its key phrase abilities, and it says colossal stamina. Okay, now, that's still you, much now, more hold complicated on, wait, than mine. Now I want to. I want to also agree. I want to hold on. Uh -huh. 
colossal stamina has absolutely no corollary in the game to pushing damage. Now, as you may know, this character it is worded very similar, similarly, but it uh-huh. is different. It is because different. True. pushing damage happens immediately. immediately. Colossal stamina correct. is just after resolutions, so there is no oh well. This kind of is well. This is pushing damage. No, it is key phrase. Colossal stamina very easily referenced in a 2018 pack, which okay. follows along with reference with the precedent from previous. The precedent sets. is different. This is a new precedent because because both colossal figures and figures of standard size with the colossal stamina ability were designed to have that right they were both designed to be able to do this ability the the colossal ones are now being changed to something new to avoid pushing damage that was what was in the article it's not technically pushing damage yes but that's why they changed it because they don't want that to to happen anymore so <laughs> again two worlds one under colossal stamina I, I, it'll say three through six. It'll be so simple for them to find that in the new pack. It'll be in line with everything in the current rules. It's totally awesome. In the other world, they have to look up colossal stamina, right? They they have to. It, it'll probably say in there. I'm assuming reference, you know, some past rule book. So they'll have to go online, print that out, and then they'll find a new thing that they that they don't know about that isn't the same as anything else in the rule book. It, it one is much simpler, much cleaner, and much uh, more in line with their current design plans that they put out on Monday. No, I'm with you, but yeah. as in anybody that gets sucked further and further, uh, as anybody gets sucked further and further into hero clicks, right? They're going to have to learn that things change over the years, right? If they go back far enough, they're they're going to have to look at soaring. They're going to have the... to look at other things. Right, there's going to be things that reference stuff. They're gonna they're gonna eventually find out about feats and battlefield conditions. Just because other things are hard is is not a reason to not make this easy when it's so easy to make it. Easy. I know. I, what we're well, I think it, what we're trying to say, Tyler, is that what you want doesn't sound bad. We are just being more realistic that WizKids is absolutely not going to do that. What you're saying. Because they've all, why? Because they've set the precedent. That's what we're trying but to they, say. They've changed before, right? This is no. the, this is two point five. We could get two point six. This is the precedent, though. That figures that had old powers that are being removed. Those key phrases, they let them do their own thing, those, and then they put them on a those, key phrase on the back of the thing. That's a new precedent those, they set. Those precedents are disanalogous. <laughs> because this was something that both Colossal's figures were designed to have and small figures were designed to have and they specifically said hey we don't want this thing in the rule book because it is too similar to pushing damage we don't like that anymore we're going to change it even though these figures were designed with this in mind it would all right so so much sense all right, Just add all it right. To the tyler rule. um tyler used too big of a word for me disanalogous <laughs> Yep. Um, so we've we've been online for an hour. We're trying to keep these around to an right, hour, and right. I want to make sure that we have some time to it's discuss. Um, so benched powers, right? So the time, let's talk about bench powers, and let's talk about these previews real quick. Uh-huh. Um, bench powers, I didn't really have too much of an issue with. Um, I don't think I don't think it'll affect too much. Um, there are good figures with none of those powers, so they can obviously make good figures with none of those powers. I, I'm, I'm, I'm indifferent to it. I don't, I don't know if it makes it super simple for patchwork players, but like, I'm kind of indifferent to it. Fair enough. So, I, I, I agree. Right, I agree with that in general. Um, so, Alex, are you are you okay with going and talking about? the previews or um real quick about powers like benching powers a lot of people have said oh WizKids is backpedaling um which they're kind of doing a little bit i guess they didn't expect so, so much backlash with the 14 powers that they're putting back yeah. now they're like hey we'll, we'll probably do six but keep in mind they did state hey all of 2021 which we mentioned they plan these a year or so in advance 2021 is done so like they're already yep. making them in their factories, <laughs> so they're not fixing that. 
Um, but and this might be a topic we we talk about in a in a podcast coming up, like perplex. Like some of these powers, I, I'm kind of starting to see WizKids aside, like design wise, why it makes sense, um, because it's just so easy now to do some of these almost overpowered powers that you just don't want to play the really cool design figures like some of the ones we're about to see you just don't want to do that because while their powers are cool well i could do a cheaper one with a perplex it's way cooler than a wonder woman with a plus one attack to everyone like her and her buddy like it's like i'll just play a cheaper perplex and that just right from a design standpoint that's like that's not good because no one wants to play these new figures when I could just play a Wesley Crusher or Ensign Crusher with a real cheap 25 point perplex that boosts stats. Also, we were talking about in our in our private chat, like it's also incredibly hard to figure out defense powers and like, okay, if they can consistently get perplex to bump up damage to six on like every character, well, you have to get incredibly creative to make all the characters defensively able to handle that and that just makes makes me feel like from a design standpoint that's just difficult like that's why maybe power creep is just getting ridiculous is because i feel like perplex is just a problem i never felt that way before but i'm starting to feel like perplex is a problem like vulture is a, a generally a problem in general but he's more so a problem because of all the perplexes he could get to where he can consistently yeah, he, hit, like, no matter what. Well, so, yeah, I agree with you. I kind of agree I'm in the same spot on Perplex. Um, but, so, I don't know if Vulture is a problem because of Perplex. I think Perplex is a problem because of Vulture. Because if you put three Perplexes into a Vulture, you know, he's using that eight times in the turn. It's it's kind of like the, the damage thing, how you get more mm -hmm. out of damage or offense than you do out of defense. Right, yeah, I mean... Yeah, because Vulture gets to attack so much. Three perplexes and six attacks is right. like the equivalent is like the equivalent of eighteen perplexes. Yeah, he's a mul it's a multiple good thing. Right, um, right. but yeah, I agree with you in general on perplex. I think if, if I, PJ said this too before, I just remove it. I, I kind of like that because um, it makes enhancement and empower more impactful. It makes super strength more impactful, which is going away. Um, yeah, let's them, yeah, for, let's a while, for a while, for a while, for a while, and like you said, it, it lets them be more creative with their their powers and actually get them used. Uh, you know, a team wide plus one to attack might actually be useful if there's no perplex in the game. Now, um, would you guys feel comfortable if they just limited perplex to not damage? Because they've done that on a lot of things, like all their double perplexes, like Star Fox and all that. You couldn't do all like two into damage; it can only be one. What if they just removed the ability to perplex up damage? totally that would uh, be good that would be totally fine right i think i'd be okay with that because that then uh, opens the field i mean and, and there, there is a good precedent there i'm glad you mentioned star fox right that's yeah a, that's a good example because that, that could oh uh, that could open up so many figures because you have a lot of figures that we've talked about constantly suffer from uni syndrome to where you're like hey this figure's great but he's got invulnerable in five clicks well if i got pen Psy for six damage he's dead but not a lot of figures have <laughs> yes. not a lot of figures have Pensai for six. There's a lot of Pensai for three, and they just perplex them up to six, and then it's bananas. <laughs> That's yeah. funny that uh, all of these figures previewed today yeah. fail. The, <laughs> fa they fail to the they fail to the current version of the uni test. They do. Yeah. So so speaking of what I was just talking about, so let's start out with Wonder Woman number seventeen. Like she fails the uni test per per se, but I'm uh, there's no perplex anymore in this set at least. There's no perplex, mm -hmm. so you're not expecting someone with a seven uh, five damage. Now they there might be some figures that you know if you play with Amazons plus one to damage or uh, you know right. empower like Donna Troy has, but it's a lot harder than just saying hey I perplex and you go. So how do we feel yeah. about Wonder Woman? Well, so, like, all right, so I'm going to kind of, like, maybe switch to, like, from, like, new rules to, like, how these figures are designed, right, with the implica implications of the benched powers. Um, so, first of all, 
we're getting a lasso of truth that does incapacitate. That's pretty cool. I like this as an equipment. Um, now, I think about this. That's a fairly wordy trait for an uncommon. The same thing with Donna as well. I, I worry, and I think people have mentioned this. Uh, somebody mentioned this in our questions. Um, uh, Jay Sanson, actually. Nope, hold on. No, it wasn't Jay. Uh, sorry. Uh, somebody, maybe I also just. Oh, okay, yeah, Matthew Gronhide. WizKids previewed Wonder Woman Donna Troy to show us the power level of the beginning, beginner friendly commons on commons. Um, uh, yeah, so he also mentions the uh, objects may come with higher rarity characters. Um, so will it actually help beginners or will it make them feel bad to pull an incomplete combo? Well, we don't know for sure whether or not the objects come with these folks or not. I mean, that they've come with uncommons before. Um, but, like, those are some pretty, like, diving into the complexities of rules right off the bat. Right? Uh-huh. You're, 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 you're potentially using equipment from other characters. Um, well, I mean, it says with any Wonder Woman equipment. Right. So you're having to get a wide berth of equipment potentially to use these characters to their full potential. Yeah. Um, or not use, or if the equipment doesn't come with them, you're trying to use this character without its equipment. And you're like, what the heck is the lasso of truth? I didn't pull this in my booster. Now, is there is, the, um, is there the precedent where they've done objects not tied coming with a specific figure? I can't recall. Uh, I mean, that, that was the way it was. Um, pre twenty seventeen, typically, because like all of Black Panther, oh. all of Carnage, Batman, Thor. Thor, they all came with specific figures. Um, I think these still come with specific figures. I just think that you can use the other ones um, with her. Right. Like, I think this one comes with lasso. Right. That's what I mean. Are we expecting the objects to come with the figures, or do we think it's going to be a little bit more open and it's just any pack could have any of the Wonder Woman's or oh, objects in there? Yeah, I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be like previous precedents in this case. Yeah, I agree. Uh, so how do we... Secret Identity is back? We yeah, Right. That's huge. I love it. Right? <laughs> now, there is a very comparable Spider-Man, Venom, and Carnage, right? Absolute Venom and Carnage. Or Absolute Carnage and Venom. Whatever. Um, Venom and Absolute Carnage. I say it right. Um... um so these secret identity folks that these people these are the secret identities right so these are the ones that they transform into right yeah because they've got the uh, she's got the back half dial yeah yeah um they have a very direct competitor in spider-man to be as good as now we know mary jane but there's also that other list of ones that are kind of fringy that the DC set has to compete with. Yep. And those are all basic power stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, I agree. Um, but that's huge, right? So I'm not going to try to, like, judge too much here, right? Because we only get the first three figures here. Um, but I am very hopeful and energetic about secret identities in the One Woman set. They better. I'm, I'm very much hoping that they're good. Yeah, because a, a majority of the ones in Carnage were great. Uh, like some were great, but the other ones were good. It's just they they didn't crack the meta. But like, I when I when we get back to more casual play, like I will probably start busting those out because almost all of them were fun. Solid. Yeah, yeah, like the Mysterio ones, the Jason Masondale, all, all both of the Osborns. Like they were just. They looked cool and they looked fun. It's just, you know, they just weren't meta. Like they just weren't top tier to crack a team. So I, I'm not, not yet. Not yet. They, they definitely have that. They have that potential for sure, right? So how do you feel about the Wonder Woman ally finally, a Wonder Woman themed team ability? It's very good. It is quite good. It's, it's very good. That is my opinion of it. Um, I don't. I don't know if she needed it like over somebody else. I don't. I'm not sure about that. But um, yeah, it's it's very good. It's great for copying. Um, it'll probably see a lot of play if there's a really cheap, really good um, person with it. It, it feels 
it feels like it's better than scrolls because scrolls seems a little bit too niche of a fandom but there's a lot of wonder woman stuff yeah and it's a, it's gonna, it's going to be especially good in this set because remember we don't have precision strike in this set yeah true very true well, uh, it's only super senses on a six, anyways. So. Well, no, well, no. If no. they have super senses, then it's a super sense on a four through six. Four through six. Uh, yeah. I just realized that what that Wonder Woman has super senses in the back half of her dial. Sure. Donna. Donna huh. has an equipment that apparently gives you super senses, and <laughs> you increase it by an additional plus one. I don't know if she so. gets. Well, we don't know if Wonder Woman's bracelets give super senses. That's true. The, it, it might actually be just ESD. Yeah, the Lasso of Truth explicitly says when using its incapacitate. But That's the true. other one says, because you get the super sense from the Wonder Woman on a six. So this might just mean if she has the brace, oh, bracelets, she now has like normal super senses of five through six. Right. And, and, well, they, and they specifically worded it in a, the case that you can stack it. Right. Yeah, you guys are you guys are probably right. Um, now Spider Man can't wait to mean, play with the Wonder Woman. Wait, so <laughs> if she has this equip on her back dial, her super senses from range is a two through six. Is that right? It seems right to me. Uh, uh, three uh, through six. Four. Three through no, six. No, no, because she has Wonder Woman team ability, right? Yeah, so you add plus two, so it's right now uh, five through right. six. It goes down three to a three through six. six. Okay. Same with Spi That's same with cool. Spider Man. If you play the Captain America Spider Man, Cap well, and you give and he, he copies Wonder Woman, he succeeds on a four through six. Four through six. But you increase your roll by plus one if he has the Wonder Woman thing, so that he succeeds on a three through six. Oh, uh, true. So you know what? Technically, technically you don't. You technically you're still. So hold on, I just want to be clear here because they're. I want to be succinct on the rules. It increases the die yes, rules. So yes. it, you still only succeed on a four through six. A three just gets increased to a four. Your roll of three succeeds, but you have to roll a four sure. through six or something like that. Yeah, her her equipment is probably just um, ESD would be my guess. Maybe five points. That is what Jay Sands and also said. Bracers are probably ESD. Yeah, which is cool. I I really hope it gives us a little bit more than that because that's been kind of done before in special powers under wonder woman that's just my hope it just depends on cost yeah. too if, if you're looking at a like two to three point esd that'd be cool. that's what the shield How much was. was the shield wasn't there a the shield? shield was only two or three points i think the shield was three points al asgard shield yeah 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 that's okay great. then it should be more than that for sure as um uh, four points it was four points okay. but you can make it three points in it and in, uh indestructible because the shield wasn't indestructible because it is our bracelet bracers True. um all right so how do we do we want to talk about donna or we kind of already talked her out do we want to i'm good all right, let's talk about mary yeah. shazam <laughs> now oh i just uh, realized that was her name <laughs> why right so i want to be i i don't want to like be entirely too critical of mary because I would be critical of Mary if Mary's the juggernaut of this set. I'm okay with Mary if Mary's the Black Tom of this set. Well, oh. so I, I think I, I think I undersold Mary a little bit. Um, she has it's full movement charge, and it's essentially flurry if you're against one person, right? Um, essentially, yes. So full charge, eleven for four flurry. For 75 points seems good um i just realized that she has the indomitable symbol they, they, they <laughs> that's, that's that, standard that, that, that every figure will have the indomitable symbol going forward oh is that what they said okay. yeah makes that's sense. standard now okay. it's cooler looking than sense. the one without the stripe that's true that's true um I, she's i would i would say she's fringe she's 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 okay um, for seventy five points, she she's an okay super rare at the face value. Mm -hmm. Now the set gets judged by: is she closer to back Black Tom or is she closer to Juggernaut? I would put her squarely in the middle of the two. But, but as far as far as the set goes, oh, you okay? You're saying I'm yeah. I don't know. We we don't know until we see it. 
The, like, sculpt, I, I, I mean, the sculpt looks amazing, right? Yeah. I would love to. Ha- I would love to have her on the shelf uh, because you know the digital renderings always look better. Mm-hmm. But like, I'm thinking like um, lightning effect Chase Thor and stuff. Like mm-hmm. he turned. He's pretty hot. Like mm-hmm. he's popping. And so Mary Mary Shazam here with lightning going all up on around her and the cape flowing and the hair flowing and yeah, like I'm down. This is a solid and then I'll, and keep in mind, this is a solid dial, okay? Uh-huh. Like I'm not poo pooing on it, right? There's plenty of there's plenty of good things, Ock Arms, Waldo Arms, Necro Sword, uh-huh. right? Um and then someone did did mention um but um, uh, she is. Someone mentioned the complexity of the the powers, and since someone mentioned, well, she is a super rare, uh-huh. right. so she's going to be better. She's only seventy five yeah. points, also. Yeah, I when I honestly anymore when I look at power or figures, I, I don't really look at the point values because I can kind of guess, and I, I guess she was going to be around ninety. So um, her being seventy five points is what put her to make me. You know, oh, look at this. Yeah, the main question, I, I think the main question for me with her in the set is how much Pensai, how much exploit is there going <laughs> to be? With yeah. Three figures so far, none of it. So, true. That might be promising. So that might be promising, but. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if she had had some. I'm not super fond of the Mystics either. Um, but. Yeah. <laughs> she will live in a world without retail, I believe. You cannot say that. that she has the, the possibility last... of living in a world yeah. without retail. That's true. I don't. I have not seen any indication that Wizkids dislikes retail, though. I, I'm just thinking of it from a all the newer figures sure. probably aren't because our last retail. I mean, we got just got Magneto, so probably not. Right. But um, still. I. Okay, now here's my my hot take here. I said it on Monday or Tuesday, or whatever the first one was. Both Donna Troy and Mary Marvel have abilities that say they can use it as free once per turn. Um, either of them could have said at no cost. So, my thing is that it could be that they're removing at no cost. I think, which is what I said they should have yeah, done. I think, I think <clears> they <throat> have too much Today. problems with that. So um, the only I'm the right only except the only exception for that's going to be is at the end of the new comprehensive rule book, they're going to add in a line that says this is a past <laughs> rule of at no cost, and it's going to say except for Vulture Prime from Earth X <laughs> attacking. Right. True. Example: C Vulture. <laughs> <laughs> Example: C O nineteen B Vulture. From the Earth X set from twenty, I don't know what was it, twenty eighteen. and that will be printed in every rulebook in perpetuity. C twenty twenty national championship online. C twenty nineteen. C C twenty nineteen national championship. See all yeah. national championships since he's been out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so that could be something. It might be nothing, but I think that'd be. Cool. That's interesting. I like. I that. would like. A, I would like. A, I like that. I like a vulture fix. That'd be good. I think yeah. we'll all be down for that. All right, and uh, I guess we need to wrap this up because uh, we've talked about the figures. Um, now we, we've heard some rumblings. Good old Scott Porter sent some rumblings mm-hmm. today. He got his Fantastic Four booster or brick and all that stuff in. So I don't know. I was originally thinking he was going to start showing stuff next week because. Um, it makes sense that puts us about a month away and that's kind of when he starts a month and then all of us uh gets to start doing our previews and whatnot so it makes sense but they might push him because of the rules change it might push him a week because you know the set is coming out i guess at the beginning of march i still haven't confirmed the date um because certain things i'm looking at still say february but i've heard their web the whiz kids website says march but the, it's March. Yeah, I would go with March. The WizKids website also isn't going to be accurate of the actual release because they're trying to allow local stores a little bit of time before they do their release, I think is what they said. Um, so I, I feel like that's what they're doing. Like if you pre-order from them, it's going to be a little bit later 
because they don't want to compete with local stores because that just hurts them. So, um, Alex, are you okay if I run through and just thank everyone for all the questions that we had here? Real oh, quick? yeah, 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 yeah. We had questions. I forgot. Yes, yeah, so we did. Yeah, so but we've answered a lot of them. So, Pincho, Rasu, thank you for your question. Um, Peter Melton, so your question about willpower uh, and some of our fringe figures, we did talk about that earlier in the week. And uh, I would mention that we're probably not going to do a regular podcast this week, which is uh, the end of January into the first week of February. We're going to try to probably do some more of these live things next week with all the articles. And then whenever they're done, we'll do a podcast. And I think this is one of the topics that we'll have. So just hang tight with us. Adam Cole, how come Hero Clicks players always overreact when this kid's making an announcement? That's why we got the article today. Um, so Jay Sands, and we've asked a few questions for that for her. We and we talked about the previews. Uh, George Ong, um, we went over the activation traits. Matthew Gronheide, um, we talked about that. Uh, that was your activation question. And then your preview question, uh, we've talked about that one. So Spencer Wright had a multi-parted question. I want to make sure we at least talk about that. Um, I think his first question about the offensive capabilities, right, we talked about that. Um, what do you think is the better equipment for Mary Shazam, Off Arms, or Venom Symbiote? She needs defense. Um, she already kind of has a suit of flurry to me, so I don't really want to add. I know that adds more to her. Yeah, three. Yeah. Three is better than two. But then she could just get pewed, and now she only has, like, nothing. I Right. I mean, I think my answer, Spencer, in these questions is always Carnage Symbiote. Yeah. Carnage Symbiote. Yeah. Um... Three, you know, the costing, they seem fairly costed, right? Um, our special powers, and that was the, so this was the question, our special powers like charge that does not have easier to learn comprehend than standard power like hypersonic depends, oh, but Mary is also a super rare, like we were saying, so. Um, and then yes, I think we are all, are we all happy that we're seeing Secret Identity again? Is anybody sad yeah. about that? I love it. I like it. I like it. I love it. I'm hype. So, um, and finally, not a question, just a comment. We better get a super rare or a chase Wonder Woman that can equip all of the Wonder Woman equipment at once. And he also mentions oh, that. Uh, cool. And he also mentions he loves our live videos. Um, uh, which, real quick, another question we just got: Does Carnage give auto breakaway? Another question we just that we got from us. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that was. Uh, that we just got from Spencer White. Does Carnage give auto breakaway? Uh, Carnage Symbiote gives Plasticity. That's the best you get. So no, so no it doesn't. Not. It gives you a, a a better chance, but it doesn't just auto breakaway. So, um, but yes, I I will have my final thoughts here. Is that these video these live sessions have been going really well. I am been very energized by all of the great positive energy from our community with these questions and you know the the questions the 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 criticisms right we've uh you know as we we talked about like 25 minutes with tyler here on colossal stamina <laughs> right it's generating some really great conversation sure. within within our podcast within our team it's bringing us energy i think we're all excited um, we're getting a really good response on these videos from y'all. I love y'all. Thanks for participating with us. Y'all go ahead. No, we, we can just bounce. We can just say. There's bounce? All right. Well, hey, you know what? Again, well, hey, I love y'all. Thanks for participating with this. We'll see y'all here in the next few days. Y'all have a great night, and thanks for listening to Clickstaff. Yeah, good weekend. See ya.